Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to Matrix of Reggie Jackson. Reggie Jackson is one of the most recognizable faces in the skateboarding scene. His staff skateboards video part is one of the most viewed videos on Thrash or skateboarding channel with almost seven and a half million views right next to Charles' legendary Ollie down to 25 in Lyon. The skater from New Zealand was born on the 9th November 1985. You can clearly tell his skate style is 70s inspired and he's known for doing super creative tricks. I think Richie plays a very important role in skateboarding. With his video parts he kind of created acceptance for these kind of weird tricks. His tricks are not just super weird, creative and innovative, they are also very hard to land. This episode we're gonna try to land some of them and we're gonna start it off with the upside down tray flip. We probably can't find a moving obstacle and do the upside down hippie tray flip. We're just gonna try to do this on flat right now. It is kind of frightening to have your skateboard on top of you. Uh, before I'm gonna start trying this, I'm gonna check out this amazing view of this park. Yup, these drone shots were provided by you by this guy. Check him out on Instagram. He does like little edits of me from time to time that I do not upload on YouTube. All right, let's start trying this. I just did a trick. Let's go to the next spot. Few inches later. First spot of the day. This street spot, one of my favorites. Usually that doesn't look like much to street skaters, but for me this spot is like heaven. It's pretty simple. All I need to skate is a chain and a flat grab right here. What are you gonna do with that is up to you. Leaves a lot of space for your creative freedom. Very first trick that I'm going to do is a hippie finger flip. Well, that means I'm gonna jump over this chain and my board is gonna go underneath. I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna finger flip it after that. Richie Jackson did this in the end now video on a gap. Yeah, so that's looking pretty good. I wish I could find a spot like that to do this trick, but it works pretty well on the chain too. Now let's do a few finger flips to warm up. Been here, done this, done that. 10 finger flips to warm up. Now it's getting serious because hippie jumps can be super scary. I did not want to get stuck with my feet in that chain. I really did not want to. It happened to me once. Damn! That was a gnarly double flip hippie jump. Full commitment, as always. I think we're gonna try to nollie hippie tray flip this chain. That's another scary hippie jump variation. If you ever wanna try to learn hippie flips, here's a tip, maybe use caution tape and not a chain. If you're gonna get stuck on a chain, you're gonna die. Hopefully I'm not gonna die today. If you're gonna get stuck on a chain, you're gonna die. Wow, I just got stuck. Stuck on my life. I 
almost got kicked out of the spot. But we had some conversation. In the beginning, she was kind of mad, but we had some conversation and I was very respectful to her. So she decided to let me skate at this place. What do we learn from this? Always be nice and respectful to people. Even if they want to kick you out of a spot. Now we get a redo that. That was way too sloppy. Yes, it was perfect. So lucky that I got a few more tries. Now we're gonna do one more trick at this spot. Gonna do a boneless down the stair set over there. Let's check out Richie Jackson doing it right here. All right, that's what we wanna try. I love doing boneless. It's my go-to trick downstairs. Hopefully this is gonna be first try. Just in the background, this is a decent eight stair. Hopefully I'm gonna land this boneless first try. Let's do it. Swear to God, that was so much fun. Two thousand years late. As always on my YouTube channel, in these episodes, my main focus is on skateboarding, and I try to land as many tricks as possible. And I went swimming yesterday because it's mid-September and the weather is like unbelievably good. And I drove by this place and I noticed there's like a fitting obstacle for a trick that I always wanted to learn. It's the double airwalk or air double walk. Double air ball. Never landed this trick before. Reggie does it downstairs. We're not gonna do that because as said you gotta go baby steps to learn a trick. I don't even know how to get into this trick, but it seems like a kicker is like the obstacle to go for it. So how am I supposed to get into this trick? How can I introduce my body to the movement of this trick? I have I have no idea. So I really do not know how to get into this trick. First step is always to get your brain working with the trick, especially on a double air walk. Instead of doing this, now we're gonna do that. Okay, so one more time. Okay, okay. So and try to land at the same spot. Maybe on your board. That's that's really scary. That's the one. Let's warm up with a single walk though. Like a single air walk. Ow! That felt so good, so much fun. Skating kickers, love it. Now we're gonna double it up. Jesus, I'm not funny. Get into this. Looks like something, but I feel like I gotta commit. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it's, it's kinda it's kinda scary. It's kinda it's kinda scary. Wow, well, that was not satisfying enough. It was like mini double air walk. That's the one I want. That felt better. Let's check the footage. Well, just checked it. It looks like a double air walk. It was sketchy though. Amazing. Let's clean this up and let's go swim in the lake. I think that's the one, baby. This has been a dream trick of me forever, but I've never found like a proper spot to try. 
and now it finally happened. Like a learning dream trick, that is one of the best parts about skateboarding. So we completed another challenge, we finished another episode. Now go check out every Richie Jackson part there is on YouTube because it pays off. I consider him as an important part that created acceptance for these kind of weird tricks. And weird tricks are the best. So if you want to support me, do this by buying one of my pro models. This is my new one. It's the Stamp, Revive Stamp Pro Model. Also if you want to give me some further support, do this in the two links below on Patreon. Have a great day, guys.